All right, all right, let's go ahead and get this started. This is part five of a series that's all about making a shift, making a change. This is something that I am currently doing myself and I wanna share it with you and I'm asking you to join along. So, so far, you know, we've talked about visualizing uh, this change that you want. We talked about creating a routine or a schedule. And last time we even talked about like kind of getting your mind right, that spiritual or reflective practice. Well, today is all about showing up. You have to show up in order for these changes to happen. If you don't show up, if you don't do the work, nothing's ever going to change. And that's probably one of the hardest things that's it's it's so easy to kind of think about it's like oh yeah i just need to show up and i need to do the work yeah i'm, I'm going to make this change but it's amazing how things sort of conspire against you to kind of keep you from doing that it's so easy to slip back into old habits so i i once read somewhere that you know it takes about 30 days to really get into the habit of something and and that is the you know that's the hardest part is like getting that started and starting that momentum. So you have to show up. You have to show up at the table, at the desk, at the easel, at the potter's wheel, at the gym. No matter what change you are trying to see, whatever change you're trying to do, you have that schedule and you need to stick to it. So if you can only get free for a single night each week, like a Tuesday night, like, okay, that's my night to make art or that's my night to, to hit the gym. You've got to show up. You've got to do it. Um, if not, you're going to be kicking yourself. You're going to be feeling so bad. You're going to be feeling like, oh, you know, I'm just not doing what I want to do. Well, if you sh don't show up, you can't win, right? You got, you got to be there. You've got to sit down and you've got to make the time. Now, far too often, though, it's like, oh, I'm feeling so tired. Well, you got to show up. Not feeling well, you got to show up. Just feel like, you know, want to sit on the couch and watch TV, you got to show up. Oh, laundry has to be done, you still have to show up. So if you have that schedule and you're, and you're committed, you have to make that a priority. So we talked about that when we talked about making a routine. If you don't make it a priority, if you don't make the time for it, then it's not a priority. And if you don't show up after you've said that, you know, I'm, I'm going to make this time for it, then again, it's not a priority. So you have to do the work. Now, even if this is just sort of like, you know, I want to make more art, uh, maybe you're not making a, a, a huge shift where you're changing careers, or maybe you're just kind of thinking like, oh, you know, I want to get some exercise a couple times a week. Whatever that is, you have to do it. Um, you know, if you're planning on like, okay, I'm going to go for a walk or a run or a jog, it's raining out and you're like, ah, I'm not going to go today. Well, then come tomorrow, it's going to be so much harder to get in the habit, to do it, to go forward and, and do this thing that you want to do. So you have to show up for this. Now, for me, you know, this is my job. You know, I, I decided like, okay, I'm going to make that shift into a career I quit teaching five and a half years ago and I've been doing this. And part of the problem is that I didn't always show up. I didn't always make the time. I didn't always make it a priority to be here and, and do what I need to do. Well, I've been showing up every day and spending hours creating, creating, creating art, creating videos, creating lots of different things, hopefully creating those opportunities. And so, by showing up and and doing the work the change will happen so if you're trying to get healthier the the more you show up the more you work out the more you eat right the more you take care of yourself the healthier you're going to be if you want to make more art or you want to be more creative the more you show up and you're drawing and painting and making and creating the more artistic you're going to feel the more creative you're going to feel yeah, you know, Maya Angelou said that, you know, creativity can't be used up. The more we use it, the more we have of it. So I think it's the same thing with everything else is that the more you do it, the more you feel like you have it. So like same thing with health, same thing with, you know, maybe shifting into a different career. I don't know, but it's, you got to show up. Um, and that is the key. 
So showing up when you don't feel like it, when you're tired, when you're run down, when you know laundry's piling up, you have to be there. You have to show up to the work and then you have to actually do the work. It's simple. Well, it's a simple idea, but it can be so difficult. I, I'm always amazed at how attractive laundry gets or cleaning the house or straightening my table gets when it comes time for me to sit down and do the work. So having the schedule, that's kind of half the battle because you've like you've said, okay, I'm going to dedicate this time. This is what I'm going to do. This is going to be my schedule. And then the other half of the battle is actually being there, showing up and doing the work. So anyway, <clears throat> think about how you can continue to show up. Think about how, hey, I'm not feeling all that great. I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm whatever. You show up. I mean, at 20 years as a teacher, I don't know how many times I went to work anyway. I went to school tired, not feeling well, not feeling 100%, just wishing I could be somewhere else. And I, I went and I did the job. Because that's the thing is, this is your job. So even if you're like, oh, but this isn't how I'm making my living. Well, you said this was important to you. You said that this was a priority. So that's your job is to sit down and do this thing that you're saying is a priority. And if you're not sitting down and doing it, if you're not showing up for it, then it's not a priority. All the excuses in the world are just that. They're excuses. They're meant to keep you from achieving what you want to achieve. It's amazing how we as humans do that to ourselves, that we we sabotage our own futures, our own uh, change, our own lives by simply not showing up. So anyway, if you've been kind of taking part, if you've been thinking about this, if you've been doing some of these things that, I, that I've been talking about, I would love to hear your feedback about it. I'd love to hear what you've been doing. So, you know, pop them down there in the comments. Love to hear that feedback. Um, let me know what you're thinking. What, let me know what you're doing. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments or concerns. So anyway, I just appreciate you showing up and watching these videos, but now go show up for your work, the thing that you want to make, this change that you want to create in your life. Show up for it and you'd be amazed at how things are going to change. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in once again. I really appreciate it. Um, and as always, happy creating.